Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick look in my own opinion on um, ice cream sandwich running on the HP touchpad. Um, for the most part, I can actually say I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing so far. It's only the first stage is uh, Alpha O by uh, Cyanogen Mod by the Cyanogen Mod team. You guys are amazing. I can I can definitely say you guys are amazing. Um, but so far, I haven't had any um, major issues that I can complain about. Uh, the, the ROM runs very smooth on the touchpad. I've actually had gingerbread in this before, and um, it was good, but you know, it, it, it was mostly a cell phone, so to speak, ROM running on a on a on a on a tablet. But this is this is actually a, you know, it's, it looked like it was virtually built for it. Um, some of the things that they said that wasn't working: uh, video playback, uh, 3D games. Um, for the most part, they work um, on my touchpad. Um, I have, uh, you know, the Angry Birds games. Those work. Um, I have a, a few other games in there um, that does work. Uh, uh, the music player, it is glitchy slightly, but it's not a major factor. I downloaded the uh, music from the market. The marketplace also works. Um, I also have an, um, Amazon Marketplace in there. But let me just give you guys a look at uh, how the marketplace looks. Um, right now I'm actually over Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is not the best. It looks very nice. You know, big buttons for you guys to push. It's basically made for a tablet, so to speak. Um, I have no problems with downloading apps. Um, let me try something. Let's try... Um... Uh, download anything just to show you guys that it actually downloads uh, install accept and download get the little progress bar downloading 5 megabytes and downloading installing got the notification bar down here and um, it's installed Uh, let's open it up and it works um, you know it, it works for the most part um, but you know just to give you guys a look let you know if anyone of you guys wondering if the, the marketplace actually worked uh, the Amazon marketplace that also works you know with, with no problem I definitely don't have any problems with installing any of my past uh, apps and uh, it, it, it works. It works great. It works great. Um, let's go into the uh, my video player. Actually, also one of the best things about ice cream sandwiches is that you can make folders on your home screen. So, um, this is my folder for music, movies, and what and whatnot. Uh, for movies, I use Mobile Player. It's one of the best places you can find in the marketplace for me. Um, these are some of the the shows that I have in there. Give you a different look. Um, let's see. One of my TV shows, The Shield. Previously on The Shield. If there's a mall, it's not about its fault that you got mad. It is that she's submitting wiretap requests for us. I don't get trips back at one piece. And you can see the video player. It, it plays very good. Plays very good. And it's very loud also. Let's see that now. Suck it! Like you couldn't stop it. So, you know, that's a... You know, I guess it's a benefit from the, from the ROM itself, from, from Ice Cream Sandwich, being that it's made for both uh, phone and tablets. Um, going to some of the games. Uh, I don't know what games. What games can we try? So this is a uh, Frontline Commando. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool game. It was supposed to be my last mission. Should have been quick and easy. Let's give you guys a quick look. As to how the game looked and how it runs on the uh, on the touchpad. Okay, let's get this thing started. So 
throw the mission up. Oh my goodness, I'm pretty, not too good in this game, but hey, just giving you guys a quick look. And like I said, it's a pretty cool game. Um, and it runs exceptionally well on the, um, on the touchpad. Um, see all the things I've been running in the background. You know, these are all the things that's, that's actually playing in the background right now. Um, maybe about t 10 different things. Uh, you can kill them very easy. Just uh, slide them to the left or to the right. You know whichever way and it, it you know it all works it all works very well um what else can i show you what else what else what else what else is there to show um i did a benchmark uh a quadrant benchmark gave me uh the last time i did it gave me a score of 2200 um that's actually better than um than my Galaxy Tab. Um, the Galaxy Tab was actually giving me about uh thirteen or fourteen hundred on Quadrant, and um I don't know. For, uh, I mean, the touchpad running Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, it's it's it's. It's a much, I'll say it's a smoother experience than what's on the touchpad, than what's on the, um, the Galaxy tab. Let me see, I'm going to check out. Now I'm getting 20, 2100, 2174 for the, uh, let's see if you guys can see that. For the, the touchpad right now. 2174. Is right there. Um, I guess that's pretty good. I really don't follow the the whole, um, you know, benchmarks. I just go with what I can feel in the real world because that's where it really is. And it's 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 like I said, it's a better experience than what I'm getting on the uh, on the the Galaxy Tab. Um, another thing. Let's see if I can show you guys real quick on the Galaxy Tab. Uh, one of the games I do play a lot is um, Plants vs Zombies, and I was recently playing it actually. But I'm, I'm I'm actually showing you this just to show that um that it runs a little bit smoother. On the uh, the HP Touchpad, I'm I'm gonna play the same exact levels. And I just want you guys just to see what happens in between the uh, the games. Now, once the game is over, they give you a little card to take, and the game is over. As you can see, it's 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 slowing down slightly, a lot. Well, lag. It's lagging a lot, a hell of a lot, a hell of a lot then you get to go to the next level. Now, with the uh, the touchpad, um, I was actually running the same game earlier. Uh, there it is. Okay, now with the touchpad, um, same exact, same exact scenario, same exact game, same exact level. Um, I really wasn't seeing that, um, that lagginess whatsoever. Now, 
maybe it's because it's a it's a faster processor, which I do believe. But um, I mean, the, all the games runs much more smoother. Okay, now I just wanted to show you um, the same exact level of uh, Plants vs Zombies from the uh, from the Galaxy Tab to the Touchpad, just to show you that there's virtually no lagging in between levels. Um, so let me just get back to the game, and as the game is about to finish, you know, you get the card, then you pick the card, and then. There's absolutely no lag. Zero. None. Just straight to the next level. And, you know, you're good to go. Um, it is, there are a few things that, that really doesn't work. Um, like, for instance, um, I've tried Netflix. Netflix has its issues where you will get the audio. Um, I'm not going to sign in right now, but uh, you get the audio, but you don't get the video. Um, but it, it, for the most part, you get to see uh, what you're picking on Netflix, but you just can't watch, you can't stream a video. Um, I have not tried the movie studio. I haven't tried that. Amp works. It's just like the, the, the music player. Um, and, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, the gallery looks be looks beautiful. You know, once it loads up, you know. And you know that's that's really it. That's really my take on it. Um, it's a it's a good ROM, and I I, I advise anyone if if they're willing to take the plunge, take the plunge, and you know put it in, put it in your HP Touchpad. You won't be disappointed. Thanks, guys, for looking. See you again. Bye. Guys, I had to come back uh, real quick, and um. Add, add on to, to this video. Uh, one of the things I know a lot of people want to know is can you go back to WebOS? Um, yes, you can go back to WebOS. You can actually go back and forth from WebOS to Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, when you power it off, you have to power it off, then you have to power it back on. It uh, actually gives you a um, an option. You you know you you have a choice. Uh, once you put ice cream sandwich in your your touchpad, it's not. It doesn't delete the uh, the WebOS partition. Uh, the WebOS will always be in the touchpad. Um, but you know it's it's good that Mod actually gave you uh, uh, an option. Um, so as you can see here, I you know I have to use the volume up and down to uh, to choose um, which one I want to boot into um you can also go into clockwork clockwork mod that's you can actually go into there to um update the rom and um uh, do other things but um i'll go into web os just to show and you use the uh the home key to enter and then the touchpad will will actually um go through the normal process of booting into uh web os um, booting into um, um, ice cream sandwich is actually much faster than uh, booting into WebOS. WebOS takes it takes a, a little a little while. Um, ice cream sandwich might take about anywhere from fifteen to twenty seconds, whereas WebOS might be double that. Um, don't quote me on that, but it it is actually double as it, it is longer. But um, let me just show you guys that it, it boots right back into uh, WebOS. As you can see, it is taking a little bit of time, but that's normal. You no, know, if you guys ever decide to do it, don't panic. It, it, it actually takes a little bit of time to boot in. And there you have it. 
Weber West in all its greatness. So, um, and let's see if I wanted to go. Everything, everything basically works. Uh, my Wi-Fi, battery, Bluetooth, everything, everything works. Everything works. Um, go into something here. My son, he loves this baby first game. You know, it's cute. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it works. Everything works the way it's supposed to work. So, this is just a, just a quick look just to show you guys that, um, you do have, you do have options. You do have options to go back to WebOS or go to um, ice cream sandwich if you wanted to so hopefully this makes your decision a lot easier good luck thanks for watching